The Project Setup tool makes starting and maintaining a Revit model faster for all users involved in a project. When starting a model, you may want to quickly copy scope boxes, title blocks, and match lines from linked models or create unplaced rooms for helping in space programming. You can duplicate linked rooms as spaces and keep the names and numbers up to date as the design changes. You can then automatically create sheets and views from lists in Excel or templates customized to the levels of your current project and place the new or existing views onto sheets. Throughout the design of a model, you can use the tools to create dependent views from scope boxes or from linked model dependent view settings, control viewport locations on sheets by specifying coordinates or copying viewport locations from a linked model, find and replace text in view and sheet names, and maintain control over additional parameters and properties. Duplicate multiple views at once, apply multiple view templates to all selected views, manage project revisions shown on sheet title blocks, and much more. Let's go through an example to show how this tool can be used to save countless hours on your next project. In this example, we'll start in the Project Setup tab by using the Copy tool to copy title blocks, project information, match lines, and True North from the linked model. If you have multiple links, you can select the appropriate link from the selector at the top. The selected link is used for all linked model functions of the tool. You can also set the room bounding property of the link if needed. Now we will use the space creation tools to create MEP spaces matching the architect rooms. We can come back here to update the names and numbers if they are modified later in the link. At this time, we can see that the linked model has some scope boxes that we want to have available in our model. After copying, you have the ability to rename them if desired. This tab also has a tool for creating unplaced rooms by typing a custom list or importing a list from Excel. Now we will use the Create Sheets tab to set up the sheet names and numbers for our project. Let's first assume that you have a list of sheets in Excel that you received from the project manager. You can either just type the information in the table at the right, or click the Edit in Excel button to copy and paste the values in. Once the Excel file is saved, just click Reload from Excel, then click the Create button. We can see that all of the listed sheets were created. Let's click Undo and look at another option for creating a sheet list. Back in the Create Sheets tab, you can choose the option to use a template. You can specify the sheets to create per level and per project. For example, I just want one cover sheet for the project, and I'll use one Mickey North, Mickey South, Donald, and Goofy sheet for each level. I can see that the final list to create is automatically updated as I'm modifying the template. I may want to choose not to create sheets for the parapet level by selecting its line and pressing the Delete key. I can also set a custom numbering scheme for the levels to be used in sheet numbering. If you want to see the numbering and naming conventions used in the linked model, just check the box to see them for reference. If you wish to save these settings as a template, you can export them to an Excel file. You can also use Excel to make additional edits to your template. The last few templates used are available in the drop-down selector for quick access. Let's go ahead and create the sheets. The Create Views tab works similarly to the Create Sheets tab in that you can edit lists in Excel or modify the templates to create your final view list from per level and per project lists. Again, let's create a Mickey view, a Donald view, and a Goofy view. We can even say that we want to automatically place Donald and Goofy on their sheets for each level using the number sign to be replaced with each level number. In this list, you may find it helpful to click on any one of the headers to sort the list in order to easily apply various settings. You can apply any number of view templates to the views when creating or managing the views. Just type or select the view templates to be applied. Again, you can show the linked model view settings if you want to coordinate any of the settings or naming conventions. We can save these settings for future use in Excel and edit the settings in Excel as well. The second tab of Excel contains the list of views and sheets to be created per project and per level. These can be applied to any project with any number of levels. The first tab of Excel is where the tool temporarily stores the final lists to be created for the project, and these lists get overwritten each time a new list is generated. When creating views, you have the option of locking a view template to the view. You also have the option to place the views on sheets. These functions can also be done later in the Manage Views tab. For this example, we will check the box to place the Donald and Goofy views on the sheets but we will create some dependent Mickey views before placing them on sheets. 
Let's go ahead and click to create the views and place them on the sheets. The views are now created and we'll look in a minute to see them on the sheets. Many projects will use dependent views to separate a floor plan into sections, like halves or quadrants. We want to create dependent views for each of our Mickey views, and we could just select the scope boxes and click to create the dependent views. Or, we can match whatever is being done in the linked model. We can see that the linked model is using scope boxes for most of their views and cropped regions for the area plans. We will select the primary view that is using scope boxes so our views will match. We can edit the default view name appendix that we want to show up at the end of our view names. Let's just leave it area A and area B for now and click create and we're done. Any missing scope boxes or crop regions that don't exist will automatically be copied from the linked model. At this time or throughout the life of your project, you may find it convenient to make modifications to multiple views at once. For example, we can search for all views with area in the name and you could change scale factors, phase settings, or other changes by setting values for all views at once. Let's discard these changes at the moment. Let's find and replace area A in all the view names with north and area B with south. We can also place the views on the sheets by simply typing or selecting the sheet number. Let's place the first floor Mickey views onto sheets E201 and E301. Remember that all of these changes can also be edited in Excel for convenience. After applying the changes, we can open the sheets to see that it has just placed the views in default position on the sheets. What we really want to do is match the positions used in the linked model. Here is the linked model opened in a different session of Revit so we can see where they place their viewports on the sheets. The good news is that you won't have to open their model to match the viewport placement. Back in the tool in the Manage Views tab, we can check the box to Compute Viewport Locations which will show you where the viewports are currently placed and allow you to copy the positions from other views in the same model or from the linked model. To use viewport locations in a linked model, you can select the viewport in the linked model list and then just copy the location to all desired views using a button. Click Apply and we can see that the view positions have changed to match. In this tab, there are also buttons to quickly perform other functions such as applying multiple view templates to multiple views, locking view templates, deleting, or even duplicating multiple views. After changing scope boxes of views that are already on sheets, it may also be convenient to reset the viewport title positions to keep them aligned to the viewports. For control over additional properties and parameters using Excel, remember that you can always use the Parameter Transformer tool on the toolbar as well. The Manage Sheets tab allows you similar control over common sheet properties in the interface or in Excel. This tab also allows you to select a revision in the project and see all the sheets that are affected by the revision. You can also apply the revision to all selected sheets so the revision information is displayed on the title block of those sheets. The Project Setup tool will save hours or days starting up a project and will continue to save countless hours while maintaining a project. Make sure your design teams and collaboration partners are making efficient use of the tools available to them. Visit the website for additional tools and resources to help you on your next projects.